Hey everyone, PTC here, and today we have the awesome Beauty and the Beast Tsum Tsum collection to show you. There are nine in this set, and we have each and every one of them. We're gonna start here with Mrs. Potts. Check out Mrs. Potts and her huge spout. It looks like her nose, it looks a little funny, but she is a teapot, and this is her spout. And there's her handle on the back, and you can pour her out. <laughs> But again, very well done. There's the top of the teapot, very nice details, nice purple touches with a pink little cap. And again, this yellow kind of pattern around the side. Just awesome. She looks hilarious, but again, she is a, tea, a teapot and it must be hard for them to make a Tsum Tsum kind of represent a teapot. And I think they did a pretty good job, aside from maybe curving this a little bit, but that is her spout. It's hilarious and it's huge, but I like how they did the handle on the back. Very cute, very well done. Now let's get to Chip. What a cutie this guy is. And there's the little chip out of the side you can see up top. Nice little touch on this cup. He has a little cup and there's his handle for his cup. And he's got his little half mouth on the front. Again, all stitched in. Cute black eyes. Again, the little rosy red cheeks. Very similar to Mrs. Potts down below. And on the bottom, just a, a purple nice soft material. But there's Chip. Let's get to Philippe. I thought it was kind of cool they included Philippe in this uh, set, which is very fun. He is the horse of Maurice, which is Belle's dad. And I guess it's Belle's, ho Belle's horse too. And uh, they did a really good job on, Mar on Philippe. I mean, check out the front mane. You can see coming down here, the white on the front of his snout. Very well done. He's a solid Tsum Tsum as this is all stitched in. His harness and everything around here. You can see where you can put your feet up up on the side. I thought this was so well done. That's his hair, I guess, representing his hair coming down on the side and then the mane on the front. So there's a little close look at Philippe. Kind of cool they included him and there's his little horsey tail. Kind of the same as Maximus from the Rapunzel collection. And then you can see on the bottom. Very cool. So there's Philippe. We can't forget about Cogsworth down below, one of my favorite characters from the movie. And they did a great job on the little clock hands. You can see on his nose swishing around. And on his belly, you can see here where the uh, TikTok mechanism is, with a little weight that goes back and forth. Very well done. Again, it's painted on though, you can see in the glare that this is not stitched on. So it's a little off center, but I guess it's tough to paint all these as fast as they're rattling these Tsum Tsums out. And I like the touches they did on the top of Cogsworth too. His little clock parts, and then there's his winder, which is another nice touch. A little winder on the side. And he's got his little yellow hands and his brown feet on the bottom. And his crazy eyebrows. So there's Cogsworth and his friend Lumiere, one of, another one of my favorites. Those two guys just made that movie. He's our B, our guest. He's such a fun character. They got the flames coming out the top, which is nice. And then his hands with the flames on the side. Very well done. And there's his nose and it carries down with the yellow all the way down on the belly and again on top. So he looks exactly like Lumiere should. Very cool eyes, very fun. One of my favorite characters from the movie. And I can't wait for the live action movie to come out. Let me know in the comments below if you can't wait for the live action to come out in, I think it's 2017 in the spring. Okay, let's get down here to Gaston. A great evil character in the movie and look at his eyebrow up. He's always trying to win Belle's hand. Very fun, he's got his outfit, there's his costume down pat. I mean, this is Gaston. They got his long hair tied back. You can see a little, kind of a, a red ribbon tying it in there. And then his crooked eyebrow and his kind of sly smile on the side. I'm not too sure why it wasn't, I guess he's supposed to be representing maybe a smirk. Maybe that's why they don't have it on this side, unless it's an error. I'm not too sure. I didn't look at any of the others as they're all behind the counter. So there is Gaston. Not very muscly Gaston, but he is in the movie. All right, let's get to the beast. One of my favorite Tsum Tsums in the set as he is all stitched with such cool details around his face. And he's got a little tuft of fur down here and his horns coming up the top. Very cool. And his big ears. 
And then they nailed his outfit. Check it out. So well done. He's looking very handsome and debonair, ready to dance with Belle. That's kind of the outfit that he's in. And there's a very similar tale to Philippe, the horse. But very, very well done. And I'm loving all that stitching around the beast's head. There's a close look. And this nice little tuft. And then there's his hands and his feet. Very cool. Such a cool Tsum Tsum. Now let's get down to Maurice. This is Belle's dad. And I mean, what more can you say? He looks like a crazy old man, even though he's just an inventor. But again, they got the mustache. Everything's nicely stitched in. His big bushy eyebrows. Kind of Maurice's little look about him, kind of dazed and confused. And there's his vest that he has on in the movie. Very cool, kind of a green back. And there is Maurice. And lastly, we have Belle. It would have been really cool if they had a peasant Belle from the beginning, as that is my daughter's favorite opening sequence of a movie, is that song and her dress, which was very hard to find, peasant Belle dress, but there she is back there with her basket. But here is Belle when she dances with the beast in the movie in her awesome yellow gown and her awesome bun up top. Very well done. And you can see this is actually a ribbon that they put up. Very nice touch. And rosy cheeks and her green eyes and her nice little eyelashes all stitched in. Very cool. And there's the bottom. You can see the nice details in her dresses all the way down with her cool hair. It's kind of a nice goldy material. And there is Belle. So cool. All right, guys, we'll leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this review of the brand new Beauty and the Beast Tsum Tsum collection. Don't forget, leave a comment which one of these is your favorite. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. We put out weekly new videos on Tsum Tsums, Funko Pops, and other toys. And please stay tuned for more great review videos from Todd's Toy Collector. Bye for now.